free subscribe our channel and click the bell icon so that you will get update with our latest video. David Cassidy, who came to fame as a 70s teen heartthrob and lead singer on The Partridge Family, has died, according to his publicist Joe and Jeffen. He was 67. The singer-actor had recently been admitted to the intensive care unit of a Fort Lauderdale, Florida, aerial hospital. Cassidy was in critical condition and suffering from organ failure before his death Tuesday, Jeffen said. David died surrounded by those he loved with joy in his heart and free from the pain that had gripped him for so long. Thank you for the abundance and support you have shown him these many years, she said. Cassidy's nephew, Jack Cassidy, tweeted about his uncle's death, saying I can't help but thank God for the joy that he brought to countless millions of people. David Cassidy was born into the entertainment industry that made him a star. His father was famed actor and singer Jack Cassidy and his mother was actress Evelyn Ward. After his parents split in 1956, the elder Cassidy married actress and singer Shirley Jones the same year. Cassidy moved in with his father, Jones and his three half-brothers after getting his high school diploma in 1968. His father helped him launch his career as an actor and musician. His early work included appearances on Ironside, Marcus Welby, M.D., Adam 12 and Bonanza. In 1970, Cassidy began playing the role of Keith Partridge on the musical sitcom The Partridge Family. His stepmother, Jones, portrayed his mother, a widow with five children. The popular ABC series ran for four years and also had a successful run in syndication. The show also spurred several pop hits. The single I Think I Love You, featuring Cassidy on lead vocals, hit number one on the Billboard charts in 1970 and sold more than 5 million copies. The songs Doesn't Somebody Want To Be Wanted and I'll Meet You Halfway also cracked the top 10 the next year. The group was nominated for a Best New Artist Grammy. Cassidy later launched a solo career, recording a dozen studio albums and six compilation albums. 